I'm feeling like tacos. Who else wants tacos? Hey, it's Taco Tuesday somewhere. Not here, it's actually Wednesday. I missed Taco Tuesday, yesterday, that is. So, the object of my tacos, shrimp. I've got, these are already peeled. They've been, they came deveined with the peel on. They call them easy peel. I'm gonna do one more quick little step to them. Cause, well, I like doing shrimp this way. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to come along where they opened it up and then just slice it longitudinally. You get two long pieces. What's nice about this is they'll curl up real nicely when you cook them off. Okay, cutting board's clean, tripper, uh, Bisected, I guess you could say. Let's. That made it into the sink. Don't worry, I'm gonna. I'll clean it up later. Let's make a marinade for this. Since I'm gonna be using stick, I'm gonna build it all in this cup. So what's gonna go in there? Well, one. I've got some roasted garlic. I've showed you how to roast garlic before, but I found a different way that may be a little bit more convenient for you. Take about 15, 20 cloves, you cover them in olive oil, and you microwave them for 10 to 15 seconds at a time until they get soft and just start to turn brown around the edges. So the garlic and the oil go in. What else do I have? I've got, believe it or not, Sun-dried tomatoes. Uh, now these have oil in them, but we don't need a lot of oil because it's already in here. Now if you've got dry-packed sun-dried tomatoes, you're going to want to hydrate them just a little bit. Just pour a little bit of uh, uh, hot water over top of them and let them soak for a minute. I'm going to drain these and I'll be right back. Okay, the oil's drained out of them. Just chunk them down in there. Got a nice little bunch of cilantro. That's gonna go in there. Zest and juice of one lime. A little salt and pepper. Finally, a little bit of heat. I'm gonna throw in some chipotles. For this, um, I don't want it too hot, but I want a little bit of kick to it. So I am going to put about half a chili in there. And a little bit of the adobo. And when dealing with peppers, remember, be safe, wear a glove. Give it a quick little taste. Nice, just the right amount of heat, nice little acid. Could use a little bit of sweetness though. So I'm gonna give it about, oh, Maybe a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of agave nectar. For the marinade, as usual, I said use gloves, use gloves. You can get these at your, you know, your local pharmacy. Some of your uh, big chain grocery stores are gonna carry them too. So I'm gonna move all my shrimp into this bowl. All the marinade in. And 
I'm just going to mix it up. This is going to go into the refrigerator until I'm ready for them. So the next component of my tacos is a heavily flavored cream sauce called crema. Now, am I going to make a true traditional crema here? No. Am I going to make a uh, flavorful cream sauce? Yep. I'm going to start off with this Anaheim. But we want to roast this off and, well, like I said before, many times before, electric stove tops, not the best for it. That old girl, she just isn't going to cut it. The grill, I don't feel like firing it up, so I'm going to use a blowtorch. But first I got to get flammable things out of the way. Another thing to keep things from burning up. And I'm just going to torch it. So I'm setting up for the next items to go into the crema. We've got the chili right over there. It's uh, steaming up quite nicely. Probably once I'm done getting these ingredients into the bowl that I'm going to puree, um, it should be ready. First, lime. Again, you paid for the zest, you might as well use it. And I'm gonna use the juice of one lime. I've got, also, eh, right here. That's probably about, uh, if I were to measure, maybe a half an ounce of uh, cilantro. Okay. Get my zest in there. Juice. I've got some sour cream here. This is probably, oh, I don't know, maybe four or six ounces. So about a half a cup, half to three quarters of a cup. Salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna go run this underwater and get all the black stuff off and I'm gonna pull the seeds out. Okay, so I got my Anaheim here. I've got stuff all over my hand from the Anaheim. I'm just gonna tear it up a little bit and just toss it in there. Now we're gonna puree this up. But you know, there's some more flavors that can go in here. How about the other half of that Chipotle? And a little bit of adobo. Maybe a little ground cumin. Yeah, that's probably about half a teaspoon. Ancho powder. We'll go with a uh, we'll go with a full teaspoon of that. I like this stuff. Now we puree. Okay, the next component of our tacos is gonna be a slaw. So for that, I've got some red bell pepper, some red onion, uh, half a head of a uh, small Savoy cabbage. But first we'll start off making our dressing. Um, I've got one lime. This is gonna be very lightly dressed, just enough to wake up the flavors. Got a pinch of salt, a few grinds of pepper. and just some olive oil. Not a heck of a lot. 
probably about a 50-50 mix, lime juice to olive oil. Just give it a quick little whisk. You're not going to emulsify this. I don't want to emulsify it. All I really want to do is have it together. Just going to cut the core out of the cabbage. And I'm just going to cut real fine shreds. Now we'll just mix it up by hand. All we have left to do is cook off the shrimp. Get a little bit of oil down in the pan. Get the pan nice and warm. And I'm just going to cook off half of them because, well, my wife will be home in a little bit and she's going to want some. Now let's build our tacos. I've got some corn shells. We'll keep this gluten free. Uh, if you, some people do not do corn, well, that's fine. Um, you can also use flour tortillas or whatever. So first off, let's get our tortillas in there. Let's get our shrimp. Notice how they curl up. That's what happens when you, uh, you cut them the way we did. Now we'll stir up the slaw a little bit more, make sure that it's uh, nicely dressed. We'll put that on top. Next, our crema. A little bit of Katia cheese. I'm thinking a line, one for each. There you have it. Ready for Taco Tuesday now. All my ingredients, they're down in the description. While you're down there, go ahead, like, subscribe, hit the notification, you know, smash all those buttons down there. I'll see you next week.